Blackjack, traditionally a card game, but lately the focus of an unusual legal battle in New Jersey, where Atlantic City casinos have barred hundreds of people from playing. The casinos call them card counters, players who use memory skills to keep track of which cards have been dealt, giving them a slight edge over the house. Card counters are not cheaters, but some, like Ken Houston, are admitted professionals. Basically, card counting is keeping track of the kinds of cards that are played and knowing when the edge is in the player's favor and knowing when the edge is in the house's favor. When it's in the player's favor, you make a big bet. When it's in the house's favor, you make a small bet. Houston won't say how much money he's made from card counting, but it's been enough for him to be banned from casinos around the world, including Atlantic City's Resorts International. Houston sued resorts, and last week a state appeals court said he was right, ruling that blackjack tables had to be open to everyone. Not surprisingly, the casinos are upset. If you set the rules so that skill can overcome the major game in the casino, which is blackjack, then it's a losing proposition. So if we don't get relief, we might as well close up blackjack in the casino. But that's not likely to happen soon. Card counters remain barred while the casinos appeal the court decision, and the casinos are asking for new state gaming regulations which would permit them to shuffle cards whenever the dealer wants. People like Ken Houston say that will probably happen, making card counting more difficult, if not impossible, and once again, putting the odds in favor of the house. Michael Connor, ABC News, Atlantic City, New Jersey.